dollies i hope you are having a beautiful day so today's review is going to be on a release that i think many of us have been waiting for this is finally like after i don't know how many years it's been we have a release of a yelum doll if you don't know who yelum is yelum is actually supposed to be pulip's daughter from the future we have now with this one there has only been three ever released so many of us were like excited the moment we heard that there was going to be another one because there had been so many years that we all have been waiting and begging and asking and finally they heard us and then we received um so as you all know um my i am very honest regarding my review so i'm just letting you know this now um i am not being paid by anyone i am not being endorsed by anyone so for any of you all that just are starting to see me now you know and like i said i hope you find my reviews helpful as i always say in every video and so let's get started so as you can see this is yalum dressed in hasun miku attire and if you're like wondering wait a minute i saw this before yes you did we have had several hasun miku releases with pull up and one of them was actually the original outfit as this one I am here to report, unfortunately, that is, it is basically the same outfit, but just a little bit more miniature version. Same exact outfit, like I'm talking about more like, okay, maybe I should rephrase this, more like um, fabric used. It is that vinyl, latex, ah, <laughs> material that was used. And you're like, why is this girl doing that? I'll, I'll tell you why in a moment. But let me talk about up here first, and then we'll take it to the bottom. So. She has these very long, this very long wig. Um, as, as you can see, this very beautiful um, color wig. Because that's Hasun Miku's wig color. It's, I mean, the color of her hair. I can't even talk today. That's the color <laughs> of her hair. So um, the color of, of, of the wig is pretty accurate to the character that she's portraying. And as you can see, it is very long past her feet. Pretty, very long. And basically pigtails um it's basically being held together by um these bands here of the same color or similar in color and then this is how it looks like to the back you know she has a little bit of wave here um and then to the front you know we have you know this in the middle like this bang is perfectly like that in the middle because that's how she usually has it has miku so wig quality now let's talk about this is not a bad wig i've actually seen worse this is not bad at all it's pretty soft it's a little bit frizzy but nothing to be like oh my god this thing is falling apart nothing like that she does come with he these head accessories that i kind of understood where they were going with this but then still didn't kind of work out 100% like they were thinking about why am I saying this okay for the original release um the pull-up release maybe I should have taken her to show you but I didn't want to like overshadow this release with that one with the original release when um these head pieces were attached to the pigtails it was basically literally like this clear band that throughout the years and I've been I've been collecting for years that throughout the years that the head band a little that little band piece will actually fall apart and melt or just break so then there was no way you could really have this on her hair, I mean on their wig, unless, you know, you used your own thing. But now this time they did it differently. This time what they did, I don't know if you can see this, they actually decided to, you know, attach these little, I don't know what to call it right now. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. They decided to attach this here so you could just stick it in her wig and in hopes that it will stay. However, since her wig is not really... I would say it is thick but it's not really just the style of hair I would say but again you can't change it because it's Hasun Miku it kind of falls off a little bit so it's one of those things that if you move her a lot it might actually come off but I'm I'm the type of person that just displays them in my cases so I don't see that happening of it falling off but I'm just letting you know this is how it's attached to the head these pieces here I'm like spitting everywhere these pieces here are hard um, plastic quality so these are not things that are going to chip fall apart these are really good quality um so you just put them on the side of her her pigtails and that's how it goes um yeah and now what am i missing her headband earphone piece 
oh my gosh, I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it. I really, really dislike it. Dislike it so much because how could you give this girl her headpiece? I mean, her head, um, her earphones. I can't even talk. Her earphones and her flipping mic. Look at this. If you if you put it on, okay, because you're supposed to, you know, she's supposed to look like she's singing, right? Because Asumiko is a singer. If you put it on the way it's supposed to, like, you know, so the mic could be in the front. See, now it's a prime example. Look, I just showed you. It doesn't stay on. If you put this mic, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because you guys are like, what is this girl talking about? If you put this, the, the headphones, right, like how it's supposed to be, like around the side of her face, where the heck is the mic? Look, it goes all the way back here. You're like, what in the world? It's supposed to be to the front, you see, so she is able to sing or look like she's singing, right? But no, the way that this was made, it, it's impossible. If you put it on to a point where you don't want it to fall off her head, because this thing is not bendable, it's not stretchy, it's just stiff, right? Look where the mic is. Sometimes it's here, ends up in the back of her head. It is so annoying, but you're probably like Scarlett. Put it on the other way. Okay, let's do that. And you'll see what I'm telling you. You put it on the other way. See, now this just fell. You put it on the other way. And it's backwards. And then you have the same problem. Where the heck is the mic? So, this is... I don't know what they were doing. And if you look at the, the stock photos, though, it does go and align perfectly with the face where she... It looks like she's singing, but in real life, what were they what were they doing? This is flimsy. It's not stretchable. It's plastic. Um, it is accurate to the character, the way that it looks, it's accurate. But it is just very poor design. Like the, the mic just doesn't line up. This thing, this mic, be extremely careful. This is one of those things I could see this breaking so easily if you're not if you're not careful with this. So that, those are my thoughts regarding that. I'm going to leave these off for now because as you can see, they're falling off. And this is how they look like. So now, stock-wise, and actually, before the stock, let's talk about her face-up. So her face-up, eyebrows are blue. Her eyes are pretty cool. I'm not going to say anything negative about that. Her eyes are really cool. They're like this... It's almost like it looks like 3D, but iridescent, really cool. Like if you look at it in different lights, it kind of looks differently, like between gray and blue. And that's because the eye chip actually does have some gray and blue in the inside as well, besides the outer side. I really do like that effect. It's pretty cool. Her face up wise, does she really have a lot of a lot of makeup? Not really, just the cat eye. And then she has natural lips. And then, I don't even see color on her cheeks, to be honest with you all. So it's basically the cat eye and just a natural lips. She is a Yulum. So with Yulum, if you all are not aware or you've probably forgotten, because like I said, we haven't had a, a release for like forever. She does not close her eyes or wink her eyes. She just moves her eyes left and right. That's basically it through a lever that we have here. That Let me see if I can show you all right here. Okay. So she does not blink or close her eyes. But I do think that her face looks really cute. Like she looks really cute like this. Um, her face and um, her wig go well together. There's nothing like too loud or anything like, yeah, I think it looks nice together. But then now let's talk about her stock. So her stock, the whole thing, like I was mentioning, it's made out of that vinyl material. And if you all don't know what happens with vinyl throughout the years, uh, it falls apart. Whether you have it behind, whether you have your dolls behind a closed case, in box, uh out of the sun in the dark it don't matter it will fall apart it doesn't matter believe me i've tried it i have had stocks already start falling apart and it makes me upset because you know you spend money 
and then you would hope you would get something with good quality so it starts falling apart so this i hate to report years from now it is going to fall apart i do like again that it is accurate to the character we do have the vest here that's separate from the skirt okay the skirt looks like this then we have the arm warmers okay with her number one here to the left arm and then um we have this is how this arm looks like here this sleeve which is the same as this one um and then like i said her skirt now um what else so her socks so what i do like about this um version as opposed to the pull-up one is that with the pull-up one if i'm not mistaken it was all literally just a vinyl boot if i'm not mistaken it was all like vinyl but with this one is that we have um cotton socks and then we have these shoes i think it looks better like this it's very cute uh, let me see that she come with underwear she does come with underwear and this is cotton see we made this cotton but then we couldn't make this cotton like come on you could have or make it satin i would live with satin by now um so it's cotton okay and then what else what else what else am i going to say oh another thing i wanted to say regarding yalum is that she is also not bendable well hold on wait that doesn't sound right she's not posable as pull up she doesn't have jointed anything arms or legs so you could only just move her arms up and down you cannot do this you could break her you cannot bend her arm um same thing with her legs um you could move it a little bit if you like, but it this is the most you're going to get out of that, to be honest with you all. Just a little bit of wiring. They're not posable at all. Um, and that's basically it. She did not come with a collector card, and she did not come with a stand, which most releases do have, so she does not come with that. Um, yeah. So what are my thoughts regarding this release? So pros and cons so the pros is is that i'm happy we have a yulum release it's been a long time like i mentioned so I, I was really happy when i saw this she is really cute i'm not gonna know you're looking like oh she's like chibi she's just really cute however the downsides the downside <laughs> to this release is like i was mentioning it's the stock quality hi oh, yeah yeah it's not there um, I this whole microphone thing I maybe it's just me and being over dramatic but it's kind of like come on like we needed to make this work so th this is kind of like a con um, that it's not aligned correctly the whole putting this on her hair this is not too bad like I said just don't mess with her too much I'm kind of like in the middle of this on how I feel about it it's like I don't hate it I don't love it it's kind of like uh um, so that's how I feel about that so would I highly recommend her? If you're a Yulum lover or you're a customizer, this is another thing, I will recommend her because if you wanna buy a base one to work with, they're very expensive. I would recommend that if you want to customize one, get this one, do what you gotta do, and you'll be good. But if you're a Hasun Miku fan and you have to pull up one, you kind of, you could kind of live without this one um, or vice versa, that you don't have that one, but then you have this one, I think you'll be happy um, but I think one of the main um, downsides to this to this release is uh, I was hoping that the body would have changed, would have been more poseable. But it's actually the opposite. I'll be honest with you all. I feel like the body used on this release is actually worse in quality than the original um, Yulums that we had. If you look closely, which I'm going to show you this now, her hands, you can't see her feet they just appear like they're cheaper plastic like cheaper you know that it was used look how easy it is for me to move her hands like and if you look close they're kind of almost transparent like it's very cheap as opposed to an older release i'm going to show you one of the older ones this is the the second one that was released several years ago if you look at them look at these arms hers is more solid you can't you can't do that hand flippy thing that hand flip thing that with the new one you can look it's solid even the legs oh my gosh it's kind of hard to do this with two dogs 
even the legs you could feel there is a little bit of a difference there like this one was more solid like better quality plastic used as opposed to this one it's not something i'll be honest with you all that i'll be i'll deter you from purchasing if you want but it's just something to look at that you're like you know you're charging more but then this is not you know this is not up to par talk about price point okay price point she's 109 at the groove website um you could buy her there if you like they're exclusive to that website only 109 honestly with what you're getting you're not getting a collector card you're not getting a stand i don't know 109 is a little bit high i would tell you i if it were to me and i was pricing her i would probably say 80 85 at most but but since she is a collaboration with you know a, a famous character you know this is the price that we get so i am happy to have a, a a new yaloom in my collection because like i said we don't get them this is the third one so i am happy about that but are you could you pass on her if you you know is it really gonna hurt if you pass not really like i said um because like i was mentioning that the stock and i don't know like i said i have mixed feelings about her like i think she is cute but i still have like mixed feelings so Anyways, I hope you found this helpful. I'm sorry for the rambling, but yeah, it's kind of hard to describe it. So anyways, I hope you found this review helpful and yeah, I will see you all on the next one. Thank you so much for your support. Bye-bye.